This is a quick video on how to update the firmware in your VC64. The first thing you're going to need to do is download the latest firmware. So head on over to the official site retrogames.biz and select products and then VC64. Next we're going to need to head on up to upgrade VC64 and download the latest firmware version. At the time of recording this was 1.3.1. Before you copy the firmware to a USB stick, it is important to make sure that the USB stick is formatted using the file system FAT32. Be aware that formatting will erase everything currently on the USB stick, so if you have anything on there that you don't want to lose, now is the time to make a copy of it. To format a USB stick in Windows, open the File Explorer, navigate to this PC, right click on your USB stick and select Format. Here we make sure that the file system is set to FAT32. Set the allocation unit size to default. To speed things up a little, ensure that quick format is selected. Click start to format the USB stick. When the format is complete, copy the downloaded firmware file to the USB stick. Note that this should be placed directly into the root of the stick and not in any folders. Remove the USB stick from the Windows machine, insert into the C64 and power it on. It doesn't matter if the C64 is already on, you can go ahead and insert the USB stick anyway. Using the joystick, navigate to the spanner icon and select it using the fire button. Scroll down to System Information and select it with the fire button. You'll now see a screen showing you the current version of firmware running on your VC64. The firmware update on the USB stick will be shown as found. If it is not, try reinserting the USB stick and opening this menu again. If it still doesn't show, check that the USB stick reads OK in your PC and that it is formatted using the file system FAT32. Also check that the version of firmware on it is actually newer than it is already running on your the C64. Finally, check that the firmware has been placed directly onto the USB stick and not within a folder. To install the new firmware, using the joystick, select Apply and press the Fire button. The new firmware is then installed. Now I've not sped this section up as I want you to get a feel as to the time it will take. When the firmware update hits 100%, the C64 automatically reboots. During the reboot, my TV actually had no picture for a few seconds, but my recording equipment didn't record this as there was nothing to record. To verify the update, navigate to the settings icon and select system information. You should now see the new firmware version and that no update has been found on the USB stick. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified of when new videos are released. Thanks for watching. Bye.